probably if Buttigieg were doing his job, the crisis would be worse, I have to assume. To Biden's credit, though, I think we need to give him credit. He, unlike the transportation secretary, has ostensibly been showing up for work over the past two months. But the transportation secretary, amid the worst supply chain crisis, certainly of my lifetime, he, he's on two months, going on three months of paternity leave. You know, I, I, I gotta say, this, this story actually pisses me off. <laughs> I, look, number one, people are walking on eggshells around this story. Yeah. They're like nervous about, oh, well, it's paternity leave. You're not supposed to say anything bad yeah, about that. Totally fine. You know, we're really, we're, we're woke, we're sensitive. And, and you know, he's gay, so that I really can't, can't say anything touch about it. it. You can't and talk you can, about it. Don't say it, Senator. And, and like, okay, our country is over 200 years old. I am pretty sure Pete Buttigieg is the first and only cabinet secretary in the history of our country to take a paternity leave. Yes, yeah, and, I think and, that's fair. You know, not just, okay, stay home, be a few days with the kid, be a week with the kid, but two damn months. Yeah, and, and counting, and he said he won't, he won't stop, he won't come back to work, even with the supply chain crisis. I suppose the only thing you have to recommend it is that probably if Buttigieg were doing his job, the crisis would be worse, I have to assume. <laughs> look, look, this story actually encapsulates a lot of the things that are infuriating. Number one, Buttigieg doesn't show up to work for two months. Yeah. Number two, they keep it a secret. They don't tell anyone. There's no public announcement. There's no, he's a cabinet member. If you're a cabinet member, you got a responsibility to show up to work. Number three, it was fascinating, none of the press reports on it. <laughs> Is there any reporter at the Department of Transportation who 60 days in would say, you know who we haven't seen in 60 days? <laughs> <laughs> that secretary guy, does he still work here? And, and it's, okay, look, you might say, the Secretary of Transportation doesn't show up to work and it's like a tree falling in the woods. Who notices? <laughs> Who cares, right. But it happens to be right in the middle of a transportation crisis that is impacting the whole country. Well, now listen, I'm not an economist, so I, I would like to hear your thoughts as a, as a lawmaker, someone who sees this up close. I have been reliably informed that historic inflation and an historic supply chain crisis is one, a, a high class problem, that's what the White House Chief of Staff said, and two, it's actually a good thing. That's what Jen Psaki at the White House and Pete Buttigieg have both said in the last two days. Look, th th there is an arrogance to this, and, and, and all of these themes are connected together. The arrogance is that this administration wants to implement policies on working people, on the little people, that they themselves don't follow. Yep. And when you look at something like inflation, so the White House Chief of Staff, Ron Klain, tweeted out that, it, that, it, that it's, it's a high-class problem, inflation. You know, last I checked, buying food is not a high-class problem. Yeah. The last I checked, rent isn't a high-class problem.